Okay, so morning guys, welcome to another episode of Bloody Berserker! Me, Matt. Now before we start, huge, massive, 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 massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that's subscribing to my channel, enjoying my videos, liking my content and what I'm doing. And I'm here to show you guys there is an alternative to these huge, massive brands. Now I'm classing everything as kind of crafts and craftsmanship, okay? Whether it's a small business, uh, individual, small brand, small company and stuff, whether you're making beer products, skin products, hair products, clothing, jewelry and stuff. It, to me, it's all under that whole crafts thing, if you know what I mean, unless it goes on to a massive, huge scale to which some of these uh, big brands are and it's all factory made garbage and everything else. So it's all crafts. Now, this is slightly different, okay, what I'm doing today. Because I've been sent something through to have a look at and review, which I'm going to be doing that in the next video, uh, which is going to be just after this one. Um, but because what has been sent through for me to have a look at is so nicely packaged and how it has come through, I'm actually going to do an opening for this. This is the first time I've seen it. This will be the first time that you've seen it. And then I'm going to get all my notes and everything together and do my review on it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Because it came through so nicely packaged, I wanted to share it with you to show you how much, what it was like. Then I'm going to go away, do my notes, come back and redo the review. So it is still going to be a genuine proper review. It's going to be my own honest opinion because what's inside might be a bunch of poop poo, um, but we will see. Now I've been in touch with a chap, um, basically who runs something called Oswa et Akaramata. Um, I will find out the translation for that because this is literally turned up today and I will be putting links with the review and this uh, to his actual website and human bone jewellery and relics. There's a website on the back of that. There's also a sticker come through. Now, okay, yeah, there are a couple of bits on there made from human bone. This is not as of what it is. So inside, like I said, there's a few business cards. There's a couple of stickers which will go on the mirror in the review room. There was a bit of red crepe paper and this. So I do not know what is actually in this as yet because I've not opened it and it has got a wax seal on it. So I didn't want to break open the seal and you guys and destroy it and for you guys not to see how it actually turned out. It's got a wax seal on the front, the same kind of logo as that, if you know what I mean, and the same that's on the business cards uh, with a bit of twine attached to it onto the box itself. So here we go, let's have a look and see. I know kind of what's inside, but this is an unboxing and I might say, um, I don't do unboxing reviews. It was just the packaging came through, that was so nice that it was in, I didn't want to destroy it and then have to try and reassemble it again to try and show you guys. So the chap that does this, is it's the UK. Ugh, of course, I won't get this unboxed. I don't want to destroy it because it looks so nice. Skewers a second. Should have brought a knife in with me. Usually got one on me, but no, not today. Ah, here we go. Dog snoring in the corner. Right, nearly that. Nearly that. Right. So that is off, and this is the box. So lifting up the lid, sealed as well. I will be stopping this very, very soon. More red crepe paper. Oh my God. Oh my God. So that is the packaging. I'm gonna give you a quick look at what's inside. There you go, that's it. Catch you on the next video for the actual review. Speak soon, guys.